Hello, Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what this week looks like for you. This video, this video is for the 5th of August through the 12th of August. Let's get into it, Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with the cards. Let's see what's going on with your cards. All right, so Mercury has been pre-shadow retrograde for a little while, and it's going to officially go retrograde on the 5th of August. So get geared up for increasing your knowledge and learning don't focus on just the negative part of mercury retrograde i have a whole retrograde series on the second channel it's called the knowledge channel the link is in the description it's called the knowledge channel the link will take you right there you can see a whole lot of information over there so that way when you're hitting all the negative stuff about when planets go retrograde you're focusing on the positive like how is that going to help you not hurt or hinder you especially since the um uh, Lionsgate portal has been open since July 28th and it will be at its peak for manifestation um, on the 8th of August so your Lionsgate portal video will be going up very soon um, so look out for that don't forget to set your notifications to all so if you're new to my channel welcome if you're coming back welcome back let's get into it let's get right into it let's get into it all right let's do it let's see what's in your card Sagittarius let's see all right, first card out of the deck is the Nine of Wands. Here we also have the Page of Pentacles. Here we have the Five of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, the Six of Cups, and also the King of Pentacles. Nine of Wands here. So somebody has come through a long and arduous journey that was possibly initiated by another fire uh, sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, and something having to do with money right but you feel like you have a whole new lease on life after here we have the that's the page of pentacles and here we have the um five of pentacles here something that was of value to you um that is of value not was but is of value to you um, um but you, you feel like you have a whole new lease on life here we have the five of pentacles here and so kind of sort of walking the story back here we have the page of wands here here we also have the six of cups here and then also the King of Pentacles here. Okay, so somebody's come through a long and arduous journey of a test of your faith, right? So of dealing with a very immature spirit who sees you as competition, that's first and foremost. And something around, something of value to you, it could be a person, place, or thing that's of value to you, that somebody was just trying to get information about, like what goes on in your house, like how you make your money, what kind of job you work, like trying to be like basically spying, trying to get familiar with like what's going on in your life, right? What's going on in your life, right? And so as draining as something has been, this moon moving into um, Cancer, when the moon, the moon is in Leo now, but when the moon moved into Cancer, um, that's when something for you may have come to a head like basically you know coming through a long and arduous journey something may have come to you come to, you know a lot of things may have been as you're getting closer and closer as you were getting closer and closer to the end of a long and arduous journey you're looking back with that sweat band on your head it could have been coming to the end of a job coming to the end of just a realization of something coming to the end of a closing out of a cycle for you could have just been like gosh you know, all these discoveries about a lot of things of just like what you have to leave behind, who and what you have to leave behind, who are lost, confused, you know, being bullied, people who are still connected to aggressive energies, you know, people who are still connected to narcissistic people. I mean, all of these discoveries that you're going, you know, coming through the um, other side of, you know, people not knowing their worth and knowing their value and how people value material possessions over healthy relationships. I mean, just like all of these discoveries you're coming to could have been draining for somebody. So you have a loved one on the other side that's like basically passing you a baton and say like, like passing you water saying, here's some more water for your journey. Like, oh my God, that was draining. So now you can cut ties with those energies so that you can move on because you know who's behind it. So there could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that could be behind something doing with the earth sign or earth signs because you got two energies here capricorn taurus virgo right and so somebody's giving you some water saying hey you have a wealth of knowledge 
about certain types of spirits who see you as competition, who get what they need to get. They're users. They get what they need to get in opportunists. They get what they need to get from people, and then they just basically push people out in the cold. Basically like, okay, I don't need you for anything else, so I'll give you the cold shoulder. Until I need you for something else, then I'll reach back out to you, you know? And so you have a wealth of knowledge about people like that. So let's see what else we got. So, yeah, so something has come through, like, for you, um, you know, looking at your cards here, just dealing with those types of immature energies that act like teenagers. they just like, okay, go get some information for me, okay, bring back, depending on how valuable it is, then I'll let you know if I can use it or not, you know, those, so you, you've, you've dealt with those types of energies before. You have a wealth of knowledge about those types of spirits, you know, coming through, so... Something is coming to an end. Your anxiety about something is definitely coming to an end um, as you are staying focused. This is the Page of Swords here. Page energy is very youthful. You have a lot of ideas coming through about things that you're trying to do and just trying to, like somebody could be reading books, you could be writing a book, but a lot of other ideas are coming through that have caused anxiety on your journey, right? But that anxiety is coming to an end very, very soon. The reason why it's coming to an end very soon because you know somebody sees you. We got page of um, pentacles, page of wands, page of swords because those types of energies like to gossip. So all you have to do is keep those types of energies out of your vault door. It's like somebody made a discovery like who was behind people trying to gather information about you who saw you as competition. In other words, it's been exposed. That's pretty much what your reading is about. Who was limiting your abundance, right? So now you're planting some new seeds and people are outside of your vault door. Now that you've gathered this information about energies that we're trying to get more familiar with, your financial situation, trying to get more uh, familiar with just, you know, your physical existence, like what you got in your house, what kind of car you drive, trying to get like getting information, gathering information. So it's just saying somebody was dealing with master manipulators, People who know how to master manipulate energies, right? So, again, you know how to manipulate your own emotions, like just by being cool, calm, and collected and saying, hey, look, it's like you're dealing with kids, basically. It's like, okay, you know how you just, it's not even that deep for you. You know how you're dealing with kids? Time to put a manhole cover over the past. It's like, okay, we have the five of cups here. Somebody just said, you know what? It's not even that big of a deal. You're not even five and six is 11. Somebody says, okay, those two pillars left and right. You're saying you're getting off the fence of overthinking. You have, any, you have no more emotion about it. You're just in your light and just moving on, right? And getting focused. This is the Knight of Swords. This is a person who is ambitious, someone who is um, action oriented, someone who is like, okay, you're, you're on to, like you're on your throne. You have a lot of wisdom. You have a lot of knowledge. Somebody is now increasing their knowledge. Like I say, now you've cracked the code. You put all the pieces of the puzzle together. You know who's behind everything. You're keeping people out of your vault door because again, now you know who is behind wanting to know all this information about you and why they're trying to compare. It's like, like I said, it's like a teenager, like somebody who is just competing with you, but they really competing with themselves. Their insecurities. They like to. They just like to keep mess going. So, um, source is just saying to you, whoever the energies are, it doesn't even really matter. You have a you have a wealth of knowledge about those types of spirits that like to get familiar with what people have versus what they have. Because for them, they always operate in versus land. There's versus this versus that. So here we have the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody spent an enormous amount of time trying to figure out what was going on. Now you know it. And so now you can pour all of that energy back into yourself. And that's where I was talking about Mercury Sagittarius because Mercury being the communication and messenger planet, you got all the messages loud and clear. Now you can spend that eight hours a day pouring into yourselves, right? Increasing your wisdom and knowledge, growing your money, planting some new seeds, all of that. So yeah, now that energies are outside of your vault door. Here we also have La Luna, right? Yeah, those energies are stuck. Because some energies did not believe that you would leave some energies behind. They thought, okay, they would have access to your life until the end. Like death do us part, right? Whether it was an old manager that was still keeping in contact with your friends. Whether it was old whoever keeping in contact with your friends. Somebody thought that they were going to keep overwhelming you. Like, you know, it just, you know, like um, having access to your life until um, they just didn't, they, people are still kind of in awe, like they cannot believe you closed your vault door 
and you're not opening up your vault door again. So they, they are sort of relegated to or they are, you know, limited to um, watching you outside of your vault door, like watching you outside of your vault door. Don't have access to what's going on inside of your vault door. These types of energies like to do things like, um, you know, if they belong to organizations or groups, you know, like rent, if you live in an apartment building, they like to rent apartments around you, you know, just to find out what's going on in your life. Um, they like to stay in contact. They just stalker energies, right? But it's not for somebody to be paranoid. They just like to, um, they're, they are they are like the watchers, <laughs> like, like the movie, the watchers, they are like the way they watch every little thing that people do. There's always like, you know, they like to create a bunch of stuff. Like they try to say stuff like people are aggressive. They're this and that, but really they're trying to project themselves onto people. They're mirroring spirits. They like to, pro like they project. It's almost like you're, um, if you work with somebody that's, it's like always just running back and forth, getting information about you to take to somebody else. You know, um, trying to get familiar with your comings and goings because somebody initiated something, somebody started something, right? Somebody started a big old mess about something and uh, energies are just trying to get familiar with you. So, like I said, you don't have to give it any energy. You, know, you don't have to give it any energy whatsoever. Um, mm, yeah. So, um, <clears throat> you don't have to give it any energy whatsoever, none whatsoever. Yeah, some energies have been, like I said, here we have the princes of pentacles. Your life is definitely about to change, you know, for just the better, like living a softer life. Here we also have the ten of pentacles here. I feel like because you, you close that door of letting people inside your vault door and come through a long and arduous journey dealing with... Here we have the death card dealing with energies. You've left all these energies behind. The energies that they felt like they were using, it was one energy in particular that was being hovered like over by another energy, like basically saying, you're the one that people would never suspect. It would be like this. On your job, somebody could have like, oh, you know, they would never suspect that you are the one that's getting information. And so they got to they gotta see this death card. They got to pour this one upside down. Okay, you sure you don't know anything else? You What what happened? What, what, why did they just cut you off? What's going on? How come they don't talk to you anymore? Because you're, on, you're in the light. The, the nine of wands is the death of rebirth. Something has ended, meaning that your prayers have been answered. So when you're asking source to bless you in one area of your life sources said okay let's make sure you got room in this area of your life so i need you to release fear doubt uncertainty confusion whatever you need clarity so cleansing by fire so as you're cleansing things by fire sources exposing to you who is behind other things so things started becoming clearer and clearer and clearer to you so the very energy that and it was a youthful energy. His page of wands is a lot of youthful energy in your cards. Page of wands, page of pentacles, uh, page of swords that was taking information back, ideas back, people collecting information and this kind of stuff. Um, now that that has been put out, there's no more info. You close out the vault door because you have enough and you have enough information to say, hmm. Some seeds have been planted in someone you know some seeds have been planted and so now some energies are trying to overwhelm you know like trying to overwhelm other people like you don't know anything why did y'all stop talking like it'll be like somebody in your office like why did y'all have an argument or something did something happen like why do they just cut you off like that like they're trying to shake sound like this shake somebody upside down how come you know other so sources saying to you that's not your responsibility you can pray for them but it's not your responsibility because you're actually helping them you're basically saying, oh, okay, now I know this person is being used so that you don't know what the situation is. A person could have been like, because there's money involved, right? So the person could have been like, okay, 
their their bills aren't like they're struggling financially or something like that and you know they may feel like okay well if well, what are you willing to do are you willing to get some information about Sagittarius blah 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 that kind of thing so but for you I see you feeling like a teenager again it's like you took your power back unapologetically like a person who who, who could have felt like you were around because at one point I feel like somebody was around energies where you just felt like you were just drowning like overwhelmed like emotionally just like you couldn't even articulate your emotion so something you recognized in somebody that reminded that reflected when you were in a space where you couldn't even articulate your emotions so it would be like talking to a person who is just like all over the place and you're like well, what in the world is wrong with them but then that was that's the energy you send out to the universe. You're asking the universe what in the world is wrong with them. And so that's when things started coming clear and clearer to you. Like this is water. The water started to becoming clear and clear. It's like, what is wrong with them? They seem like they're overwhelmed by something. Like, what's going on? And so that's when things started becoming clear to you. So it would be it would kind of be like things like if you said to your colleague, you know, if they were having money issues since we got so much pentacles out here in the cars, like, hey, you want to go to lunch today? And they say, well, I really can't afford to. Got a lot of bills and stuff like that. It's like, or if you say, hey, you know, I'll treat. Oh, OK, great. You know, then they have time to go because, again, you're paying for something. And whenever there's a there's a money on the table and you're paying for. Yeah, oh, that's that's a motivator for them. So remember fire, you're talking about fire gets something going, right? Something about their money is a motivator. So something around money, something around material possessions was a motivator for somebody. And um, so once you removed, once you started doing through like a process of elimination, you're like, okay, wait a minute. Okay. This person never has any money. They can never go. They make up an excuse every time they have to pay for something. They always make up an excuse. But when you offer to pay for something, they clear the calendar. Yes, they can go. No matter what's going on, they can go. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Something might be, they might be drowning in something. Like this right here, they may be drowning in something is going on financially. It's very drowning in something is going on. Um, and so anyway, through a process of elimination, somebody could find out, okay, you know, here we have, because like I said, somebody was hovering, like watching, watching everything. So here we have you inspiring and motivating a whole lot of people. This is the King of Wands here. You're a hardworking person. Um, there's some energies that are watching every little thing that you do. So somebody could be, like I said, it's, it's a lot going on here. So somebody could be in a, uh, in a survival Situation it could be in a survival mode situation, something having to do with money. They could be trying to pay for something they can't afford to pay. They could be over their head in debt when it comes to something and trying to pay off some kind of a debt. And um, you don't know if it's a mortgage they're trying to pay off or maybe they found out they was pregnant or somebody else is pregnant and they can't afford to pay for something, something, some kind of debt, some money or something for might feel like they need to pay for something. And people are like hanging them upside down, like, okay, you know, basically you need to pay, like basically maybe threaten because we have the death card. It could be a whole lot of things where somebody could be feeling overwhelmed by something. And so source is saying you can pray for that people come out of a wilderness situation, right? Here we have the justice card, right? So um, I feel like, we'll say with the justice card, there is a, uh, we're talking about balance, right? So the somebody feels like things come to you too easily um sagittarius some people like somebody you could be dealing with vain and vengeful spirits that's trying to disrupt your peace in some way shape form, or fashion and it could be it could have been using somebody to get to disrupting your peace in some way shape form or fashion it could have been watching every little thing that you're doing trying to disrupt your peace could have been using somebody else to get some information as far as you're concerned in some way something about legacy or something having to do with that just trying to collect information kind of collect data as you're planting some seeds you could have been planting some new seeds somewhere you know you could have been whatever it was but here we have you left behind a lot of, you're embarking on a whole new journey. Here's the, um, so yeah, you left something behind. Something is over. Something is over. You, you cut ties with two types of energies that felt like 
they were wearing a mask. They were masking some kind of pain. They were overwhelmed with something um, having to do with financial situations or whatever, overwhelmed with something. And um, But you left those energies behind. Left those energies behind and got focused. Somebody got focused and left those energies outside of your vault door. So good for you. Yeah, good for you. It, it's not your responsibility to carry other people's burdens, but you can pray for them. Like you, It's not your, your responsibility to carry other people's financial burdens, but you can pray for them, especially if they're not telling you what they need help with or what the situation is. Like if they're not, they're not opening up and telling you stuff. They're just like just expecting for you to just, you know, read their mind. And you, and I feel like you're with your, um, now that you're in the light about something, something about you're in the light about something, meaning that, you know, something your gut instinct is telling you something. Um, yeah, your gut instinct. Well, something is over, but somebody failed at stealing your identity. The answers you seek are coming. Get locked in and laser focus. You have the gift of clairvoyance. You're starting to see things clear and clear. Let go and let God. Somebody wants to call you, but they haven't changed. It's time to just release the burden. But you have the gift of precognition. That's foreknowledge. And so it's just time to leave some people behind. But she apologizes for betraying you, whoever she is, right? But journal your journey. Somebody wants the best for you, but the spy is now turned on. Follow your heart. And so make room for a new blessing. Close out the cycle in love. I'm going to do a sacral chakra cleanse and check your request list again. But much better lies ahead. And messages from your ancestors and drink more water as a form of self-care. Drink more water as a form of self-care. But yeah, some energies were definitely trying to steal your identity in some way, shape, form, or fashion. That could have been like in the workplace. It could have been somebody who really wanted your position. Like, okay, you know how in um in jobs every every company has a budget for every position so they could say okay this position we can allot we can go up this amount of money for this position we can go for this amount of money for this position and so on and so forth so somebody could have said hey i really need you know i need to make more money and they said well you know so and so is in that position you know we you don't have to wait for them to quit or apply for another position in order to get that position or whatever it, it could be, you know, so many people play so many games when it comes to money, so you, you just never know. You just never know. So, or legacy, or when it comes to when people are in financial crisis, you just don't know what people will do. But I definitely feel like you'll be leaving some energies behind. So, this isn't a happen. this isn't happening for you. It's not happening, this is happening for me, not to me, right? So, something is happening for you. In other words, sources saying to you, you are a, um, it's like you're a prayer warrior and source is trying to protect someone's legacy. So just by like very much like you're protecting other people's legacy, it would be equivalent to, let's say you're, um, you have kids and you're not, and I saw, I saw a celebrity say, I saw, I'm starting to see a lot of celebrities say this now, like basically like telling their kids just because they have a certain amount of money, they're not going, that's not their money. So they can't go around their friends bragging about their money, you know, their parents' money. It's like, it's like equivalent to that. Like, you know, basically telling people you worked hard for this. Like you can't just be telling people you know, X, Y, and Z. So once somebody figured out who was behind something, somebody had to say, okay, let me go ahead and cut them off to save them, to protect them in some way, shape, form, or fashion. So if you go back and look through your journals, something is going to start becoming clearer and clearer and clearer to you. And so in this, in a situation where the work situation is concerned, that could have been helping a person learn how to budget better. That could have been, it, it's, so, it's so many different layers to it. That person at work could have been who, you know, who was going back and getting information about you, trying to see if how they can sabotage you in the workplace in some way, shape, form, or fashion. They could have been a poor manager of money. They could be, like, their family could be expecting for them to pay their bills and all kinds of stuff. And you're just like, okay, they got, they got to learn how to manage their money better, you know, in other spaces because people will take advantage of them. They'll do or they'll hurt them and take advantage of them. You know, they'll bully them and take everything they got 
thinking that there's just this unlimited supply of money somewhere through you, right? Some kind of, okay, well, we can just bully Sagittarius out of this position, get Sagittarius position, and then guess what? That person who was smiling in your face at work, that person, they get your position, but guess what? Now they got more money just to give to the very same people that was getting the money from them. You know, so anyway, so Source is saying something is happening for you, not to you. Something is happening for you, not to you. So, worth, right? So, you have been worthy to belong to love all along without any need to improve. In fact, you are love itself, right? You are love itself. So, yeah, so I definitely feel like somebody's embarking on a whole new journey, really like leaving the past behind, completely leaving the past behind of just allowing energies to overwhelm you, like letting people like, you know, like uh, who believe that they who believe in their mind that everything comes easy for you because you all are ruled by Jupiter, right? That's the planet of good luck, good fortune, horizon, like aim, shoot for which, uh, shoot for the stars, boom, you gonna get it, <laughs> all of that other stuff. People assume everything comes easy for you all. But somebody is, that's why Source is saying something is happening to you because somebody was trying to steal your identity, almost like, okay, oh, they probably got a great Curtis score, they probably got this, they probably got that. And, and so it's like a person who thinks that, okay, if I take that position, of somehow I'm going I'm to magically perform the job like they perform the job. I just got to take, I just got to take over their life. I just going to sit in there and I can take over their spirit that they have. And all of a sudden I'm going to get the paycheck, I'm going to get the life, I'm going to get this and that and so on and so forth. So it's just, no, 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 that's not going to happen. So that's what I'm seeing for you. That's what I'm saying for you. So let's close it out. Let's let's get a number. Let's close it out. But yeah, so the Lion Gates portal video will be going up very, very soon. But that's what I'm saying for you. Happening this week, you're at the end of a long and arduous journey, like of just kind of sort of self-discovery, of just kind of like finding out some things of like who was watching, what's going on, how was people overwhelmed, why people were overwhelmed with stuff. And so 11, I am intuitive. So you have keen awareness of what's happening around you. A strong intuition is your gift. And it'll help you to understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. This insight allows you to be a great guide and supporter. The number 11, great guide and supporter. Yeah. You're trying to teach people how to keep people out of their business and stop talking so much about their financial situation because... The more and more you talk about, it, the more and more people start planning, you know, oh, you getting paid on such and such date, I, you know, phone ringing off the hook, you know, that kind of stuff. Oh, I just, I cannot borrow, you know, uh, it's just like people know when you get paid, all of a sudden that crisis is happening in their lives when they know you getting paid. So you're trying to teach people how to, mm -mm, nope. So love, so love is an love is an endless well. It always has been, always will be. I go, I go free to. I go free to be kind, loving, and courageous. I am so thankful that the relationships in my life greatly exceed my wildest imaginations. Yeah, so that's what Source is putting in your life. You know, people who genuinely love you for you, not for what you can do for them or what kind of information or material possessions you can provide. Source is putting people in your life now, moving forward, the ones that just want to, they know your worth, right? They know your worth. And so when you're around people who you know, who are just kind of feeling emotionally stuck and overwhelmed and they're willing to do anything for it. So it's just saying because they're vain and they're connected to vain and vengeful spirits who think everything comes so easy for you. You're going to have to cut everybody off. Here we have angelic template. Yeah, you definitely have a guardian angel watching over you, protecting you because some energies was on a different frequency, a totally different frequency. So that is what I have for you. Thank you for joining me. Sending you great vibrations this week. All right, Sagittarius. All right, let's get ready. This Lion Gates portal is open. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.